Hi, my name is Joy Moss, and this video is a book review on one of New York Times bestsellers, The Healing of America, A Global Quest for Better, Cheaper, and Fairer Healthcare, written by T.R. Reed. Reed is an author, reporter, and documentary film correspondent. Reed had an old shoulder injury from his days as a naval officer during the Vietnam War, and as the title implies, this book is about Reed's personal quest traveling to other developed countries in search for better, cheaper, and fairer treatment options for his injured shoulder. Throughout the book, Reed travels to 10 different countries during this quest. He does a great job discussing the different healthcare systems throughout the different countries he visits and comparing those to the U.S. healthcare system. The four basic models of care discussed throughout the book are the beverage model, which the national health insurance model, the Bismarck model, and the out-of-pocket model used in the U.S. One thing I find interesting is the other countries have figured out how to provide healthcare coverage for all while still spending less in the U.S., while also having lower mortality rates and longer lifespans. He also points out how other countries provide quality care while spending much less than the U.S. does. Reed states that 20,000 Americans die each year from treatable disease because they do not have health care. That's astounding to me. As one of the richest developed countries, we can be better and we must do better. He also makes a good point that billions of dollars were spent to combat against terrorist attacks since the 9-11 killed over 3,000 Americans, yet lack of insurance for all kills thousands of Americans every year. The first couple pages drew me in when Reed mentions that all other developed countries provide health care for all of their citizens and don't allow their citizens to become bankrupt because of medical bills. So I was intrigued to keep reading on how other countries seem to manage this. As you read the book, you'll notice that there is not any one perfect system, but one of the common factors of developed countries that the U.S. lacks is universal health care coverage for all. For example, Canadians have extremely long wait times, but have five basic principles to provide uniform health care for all. Canadians don't mind the long wait times as long as rich and poor are treated equally. This is something the U.S. would take for granted. Perhaps the U.S. could pull bits and pieces that work for other countries. Reed's ultimate goal, as stated in his book, was to search the, de the developed world for effective health care systems and take lessons from the ones that work best. I walked away from the book feeling mad at the fact that the richest developed country in the world is unwilling to provide health care for all. This would be an overwhelming task for the U.S. to do so, but it can be done. Reed discusses how other countries were able to do this by having strong advocates to support their health care reform. I'm glad I chose this book to read. Before reading this book, I was uninformed of how health care works in other developed countries. I would recommend this book to anyone working in health care. Hope you enjoy it as well.